Every time we come to a wedding or we think about marriage, it's obviously easy to think about love, which brings up a question. What is love? 1 John chapter 4, verse 8 tells us that simply God is love. So for us to understand love, we have to first look at God. And to look at his attributes, it gives us an example and a picture of what love is to look like. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8, it says this, that love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Tiffany, as we think about those things, we think about those, I guess, kind of qualifications of what love is. Essentially, love is an impossible thing for us to really accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis, right? There's going to be times when we do get envious. There's times when we get prideful. There's times when we're going to anger each other. She's going to anger you, and there's going to be a lot of times when he angers you. But ultimately, the key to marriage and the key to making a, a family and a relationship work is the key to exactly the picture that God gives us, the way He's willing to look at us in our imperfections and forgive us if we look at each other in our imperfections and say, I'm always going to be willing to forgive you no matter what shortcomings you have and where you do blow it from time to time. If we're willing to forgive, then love never fails. So what you're saying today is that we're going to do our best to do these things. And when each other fails, we're going to be willing to forgive each other, and we're going to help each other to make it last for the years to come. That's what love is. So we run. All we have to do is run. Just say the word and we'll be gone. On this road to better. Family, friends, and loved ones, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and to bless the joining together of Ryan and Tiffany in marriage. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by His presence and His first miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the beautiful union between Christ and His church, and Holy Scripture commands it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given each other in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly, or lightly, or reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Ryan, will you have this woman to be your wife? 
to live together with her in the covenant of marriage. We love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health. And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. And if you do, tell her that you do. Tiffany, I'm going to ask you those questions. Tiffany, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together with him in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. And if you do, tell him that you do. I do. Tiffany, that you would repeat these words after me as a, as a covenant or a commitment of vows that you're making to her today. And remember, it's not exactly just about the words, it's about you saying them from your heart to her. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Ryan. I, Ryan. Take you, Tiffany. Take you, Tiffany. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. Sickness and health, and sickness and health. To love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my bed. This is my bed. Tiffany, I'm going to ask you to repeat those same words after me. Remember, it's not necessarily about the words. It's about you saying these words from your heart. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Tiffany. I, Tiffany. Take you, Ryan. Take you, Ryan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From the safe forward. For better, for worse. For better, or worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my vow. This is my vow. Ryan and Tiffany, having witnessed your vows of love to one another, and by the power that has been given to me by God our Father in heaven and the state of Ohio, it is my joy to present you to all gathered here today for the very first time. Mr. and Mrs. Beals. Ryan, you may kiss your bride.